Where in the world is Superwoman today? A L A. What up, everyone? It's your girl, Superwoman. And yes, my hair is kind of dead, and I'm doing makeup. I just came back from a video shoot, and I don't want to see no comments on like we want the old Superwoman back because that's dumb. There's no old Lily, and there's no new Lily. There's just Lily in different situations. Hashtag deep. And I went on my Facebook and asked what do you lovelies want to see today and so many people said types of selfies. So then I went through my Instagram and I discovered five stupid selfies we all probably take. And before you think I'm making fun of anyone, please know that I am guilty of every single one of these selfies. So I'm very much so making fun of myself and I have a feeling you probably do the same thing too. So like that. Number one, the holy selfie. You know what's better than Valencia? The sun or lights at a photo shoot. This is the selfie you take solely because the lighting situation is doing it for you, okay? The sun rays are racing your four pimples. Your eyes are usually poo brown, but right now they look hazel, okay? And your hair just looks golden. Straight up, you're looking damn fine. She's like, hi, my name's Lily, what's yours? Oh, Dorothy? Makes sense, because you's a golden girl. So what do you do? You stop everything you're doing. Pull the F over, put your hazard lights on, and take 45 selfies. That's right, in fact, take 50 selfies, because tomorrow's Thursday, and you know you need a TBT. So back there's it to yesterday when I was chilling in my car. Look at me, I am a holy angel descending from the heavens, and it's against your religion not to double tap, so. Is there a smudge on my lens now? Number two, the I exist selfie. So you know when you're on your computer but you're not really like paying attention so you're looking away and all of a sudden your screensaver goes on but like you still touch the mouse so your computer resumes even though you ain't paying no type of attention, it just satisfies you for your screen to come back on. Yeah, that thought process is this selfie. I mean, nothing's happened for a while. But I better make it seem like I'm still doing something. You wanna break the silence, okay? Because you haven't posted in a while and you want people to still remember, like, yo, I exist. Just like, yo, it's been 28 hours since I posted something. I better just take a selfie for no reason, you know? Because I don't want people to think like I'm not fine anymore or like I deactivated Instagram. I don't wanna be forgotten. I still have to be relevant, okay? Because you know what forgotten people have to do. They have to become a judge on the voice. And straight up, I cannot. Like, I get motion sickness, okay? I would not do well in a little swivel chair-ish. I would just be puking everywhere. Oh, So let me look cute real quick, okay? Just Google a quote, use that as my caption, even though it's totally irrelevant, just to let people know, I'm still here. Take selfie leaning against wall, caption, only God can judge me, post. Nailed it! Number three, the proof of friendship selfie. So sometimes I'm chilling with my friends, right? And even though I know we're homies, I feel the need for everyone else to know how cool and real our friendship is. So what do I do? Cuddle real close, take a selfie, post it on Instagram. It's like a virtual friendship bracelet, you know what I mean? Like, look at our picture. Look how much friendship is happening in this post. And I really don't know why I do this. Like, I need you to know that I have this friend. Just scrolling through your news feed, like, oh, look at all her friends. Like, I want you to look at my selfie and just assume that, oh, she has so many friends. In fact, you know, on Facebook, she probably reached her limit of friends and can't add any more people. In fact, right now, she's probably at the store buying invitations for her upcoming birthday, and she's looking at a pack of 24 invitations, and she's like, no, 24, oh, man, she probably has to buy, like, 10 of those for all of her 240 friends. Oh, she's probably in turmoil, just like, oh, my life is so hard, I'm so popular, no. You know? That's what I want you to think. Are you thinking that? Number four, the inconvenient selfie. Now this selfie is literally gonna be the reason our generation fails. Like, hi, I cut my thumb off while cooking and now I don't have a thumb and I'm holding my thumb over here and I have exactly seven seconds to perform some sort of action to save myself. So what do I do? Pull out my phone. Do I dial 911 with my one thumb? No, what do I do? I take a selfie like, oh, look at all this blood and my thumb, I'm in so much pain and I need to capture it. And then I spend the next four seconds cooking a filter and posting it. And now I'm dead. Broke your leg? Selfie! In the hospital? Selfie! Stuck in traffic? Selfie! Like, oh my god, the situation is so horrible and inconvenient. And instead of spending any time and energy towards problem solving, I'm gonna take a selfie and post it on Instagram. You know why? Because logic. Number five, the sleeping selfie. Apparently, I think I'm sleeping beauty. 
Yeah, and I think my photographer is Maleficent because when I sleep, people are watching over me to capture images. Selfies with our eyes closed, pretending we're asleep. Why do we do this? Why do I do this? What do I think people are gonna think? Like, I'm so special that people take pictures of me while I sleep? Like, if a random person did this to me otherwise, I would be filing a restraining order right now. But yo, if you're doing it for Instagram, make sure you get many angles, you know what I'm saying, though? Like, I'm ridiculous taking pictures like this. Who do I think I am? Really? Stop it, okay? Stop. Because when you sleep, you know you have one eye open and you have like drool dripping down your face, okay? You look like a freaking aardvark having a seizure. Hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Arthur was a good show.